Hey friends, this is a Jay Bartels, and I'm going to do a, a tutorial here. A lot of people uh, in business with me have been asking, how do they forward their domains from a GoDaddy or Namecheap uh, till their, to their capture pages or um, their website URLs with their businesses? So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I use both GoDaddy and Namecheap. The cool thing about GoDaddy, I'm going to give you a little nugget here, is if you type in a Google search, uh, GoDaddy promo codes, and uh, say the month is April, GoDaddy promo codes, uh, April, it'll pop up there and you'll see 99 cent domain names. And you can click on that, it'll take you to GoDaddy and buy your domain name for 99 cents. So that's just a little nugget I'm going to throw in. Okay, so here I am in my account, and uh, here's my domain. So I'm going to click Launch. And I have a few different accounts, but on this account, we're going to talk about this one right here. This is uh, my Fun Life Invite. Now this right now, I have forwarded to one of the lead capture pages with my Fun Life. And if I didn't use the lead capture page, I'll show you what this thing would look like. I'm going to click on this, uh, the domain I want to forward, and then I'll try to zoom in here. If you scroll down here, you see right here it says forwarding. Now right now you can see I have it forwarded to this long domain, and I have it forward with masking, and I'll explain that. So anyway, whether you have it set up or not, you just click here on manage. Okay. And I'm going to click Update Forwarding. Okay, so see this is a this is the domain itself. It's really long. Um, it's going to capture page 13. So um, I you type in here where you want your new domain name to be forwarded to, and you click here Temporary as opposed to Permanent. Now I have this set up Forward with Masking. Now with masking, what that means is it will not show this lead capture page. When they get to the site, it'll still show um, uh, myfunlifeinvite.com because I have it masked. Now with some companies, they won't allow you to mask it. Um, and, you know, so you, you would just click forward it only. But I want to forward and mask it. Now here's the cool part. Once you click forward with masking, uh, you could give it a title, okay? I like using these little straight bars here and putting a few things in there. So if I were to, uh, to take, for instance, this is uh, myfunlifeinvite.com. If I were to take it and post it on Facebook, it, this is what would show up, at my title. So you could just put your name in there. You could put your business in there. You could put... Um, get free cell phone service or travel the world and then down here you put a short description so I, I put like my fun life pays you cash back and all your travel blah 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 and um, that also if I were to post this for instance to uh, to Facebook just giving an example underneath that it would actually show the description and I also put some keywords in here um, they're not necessary, but I put them in there anyway. Um, and then you, they, they, they say update name servers and DNS settings. Just click that box. Let them update it, right? And then you would click edit, and you would be done. And it could take anywhere from 5 minutes to 30 minutes, and uh, you're all set. So this is Jay Bartels. That is how you forward... Uh, your domain um, to your uh, website or capture page, whatever. And remember, you want to forward it with masking if you want this to come up, myfunlifeinvite.com, rather than this long thing here. Okay, this is Jay Bartels. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you on the next video.